Today I have the Acaso EK7000 action camera. As you guys see here, it's an Auto HD and uh, 4K edition. It's Wi-Fi connection, waterproof. My plan is to put this camera to a test. Alrighty, I'm gonna put the camera in my washing machine and turn on the washing machine to the end of the cycle to see if the camera is gonna pass the test. It's gonna go through the vibration test to see if the image is gonna be stable. It's gonna go through steam, heat, it's gonna go through all the crazy tests, water and all that stuff. We have all the accessory that honestly, I honestly don't not gonna need. Maybe I'm gonna need them, all right? Like I said, for those of you who have the action camera experiences, all that cool stuff, this is the remote control right here for photo and video recording. You got a waterproof case that you definitely have to put this camera in the, in the case in order for the camera to be a full waterproof. So the camera itself is not waterproof. The case is the only thing that make the camera waterproof. Let's go ahead and turn on the camera real quick. All right, you guys can see right there. So it's nice, as you guys see. All right, it's doing good. You got the record button right there. All right, this is power button. And uh, this is uh, up and down, Wi-Fi turn on, as you guys see right there. And one, one, one thing I know about the camera is that you can connect that from on your phone, all right? So you transfer all your information right from the camera to your phone, which is really cool. Uh, you use the Wi-Fi connection from your phone or whatever. I don't know. It's, it's, it's all included in the owner manual, how to set up and all that cool stuff. So my goal here today is to put the camera to a test. So enough of talking. Let's go ahead and put it right in the case. All right. It's in the case. And I'm going to close the case. Alrighty. There we go. Now we have it there. So while it's in this case, you can operate that from any of the buddy out here. All right. Just right there. Okay. So let's put that together. Put this little guy right here. All right. So what I have here is I have my 3M tip. It's not including because I want to be able to stick this camera somewhere in my machine so it won't come falling off. So this is a really good. 3M tip and that's the reason I'm using this one. I don't want to use anything cheap that will you know make the camera go falling down later after the vibration and stuff like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just like that I'm gonna stick that on my uh, washing machine dough. So let's go ahead and do that a little quick. Alright guys I already have clothes. I already have detergent everything in the machine. Everything is good to go. So I'm gonna stick the camera like right underneath there. As you guys see right there, so the camera see everything in the machine, and the camera is gonna be part of everything that going on in the machine. Heat, steam, water, everything. There we go. And I'll uh, have it right here, guys. Right there. Bang! Bam! This thing is it's not going anywhere, alright? As you guys see right there, alrighty. So we're just gonna make like a random video guys and uh, you know as you guys see the camera is right there all right right there and it's sticking to that so I'm gonna do some little adjustment so it gets some good video quality while the machine is running guys all right let's go ahead and turn on the machine real quick all right I'm gonna put that on normal which is already on normal and I'm gonna change the temperature to hot. Let's zoom in that a little quick. As you guys see right there, it's on hot. Okay. So, spin, I'm gonna put the S to a high. I mean, I'm gonna spin more. So now let's go ahead and put this bad boy on. Temperature's on hot. Actually, extra hot. <laughs> So we got extra hard and extra high, so it's gonna spin really hard, okay? Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. There we go. So camera is recording. We are going to wait and see how this work out. And I'm gonna link this specific model in the description if you guys looking to get an action camera. Because honestly guys, if any camera will pass this vibration and heat and whatever you think about, that's a really good camera. I would suggest you guys stick around to the end of this video, guys. For now, enjoy the video.
So keep in mind guys, the video is over one hour. I have to cut down some section uh, in order to reduce the recording time. Uh, Cause I don't think anyone want to sit down and watch this camera, you know, recording for more than one hour. But for now, every image and video quality you see going on here is from the action camera. So it seems like the camera is doing pretty good so far with the image and all that. So let's watch this to the end and see how it turned out.
Okay guys, everything looking good. The video quality looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the camera out of the machine. I'm gonna also link that in the description if you guys are interested to get one. For now, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video, guys. Stay safe.